Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. And in this video, I'll be showing and uh, demoing some of the new features in MeMind Notify. Um, so I've actually just downloaded the app and uh, let's check it out. So when you first start the app, you're gonna get this tutorial or step through kind of process saying that um, you need to accept permissions. So in order to do that, you click this toggle and you scroll to the app right here, me mind notify, and you accept allow permissions. So these permissions are for the app to be able to log the notifications um, as uh, uh, notifications on your phone as they are, um, you know, as they are received. So let me go back. But that's not the only thing. After you've accepted no notifications, you have to go into this step and now allow the apps that you want to you want the me my notify to store notifications from so i'll just do all apps so and then i go back and that's pretty much it so what you did is you allowed any, every notification that's coming to your phone to be now logged so let me just put this aside and go on to this other phone and just create a message here so I've just sent a message and you can see the not notification was sent here. Let me just do one more. That doesn't matter. And there you go one more time and the not notification is logged here. So because I've accepted Instagram as the app to store not notifications from, uh, all Instagram notifications are going to be logged. And now I don't have to have the app open to record these notifications. Let's just go here. And let's just exit the app, close. Okay, the app has been closed. And let me just create another notification, doesn't matter. All right, there it is, it hit. And if I go back now into the app, like this, back on the screens, there you go, I have three notifications. So now, why is this useful? Well, because uh, if you go to the notification screen, here are all the notifications posted, right? But what I can actually do is I can actually go into one of these and I can change the message. So whatever message I got, I can now just edit it, plain out, and like this. Hey, thanks for the birthday wishes. And save, save. And if I go back here, there you go. The notifications was, was edited and um, saved. So now if I go back to the screen, there it is right there. The notification has been saved. So um, let me actually log in some more notifications because the next cool feature that you have is this filter option. So this filter option actually lets you sort the notifications and display allows the apps to be shown. So let's say that I don't want, um, these are all the apps that are shown. Let's say I don't want Instagram notifications. I just disable it, apply the filter, and now no apps are showing. But let me come back after I've had, I have more notifications throughout the day and show you how you can filter out more of those notifications and display them on your screen. All right, so I'm actually back with a new phone uh, just to show you the notification log. So these are notifications that have been logged on my phone for like the last two days or three days. So as you can see, there's so many, right? Um, so it's a good example. So uh, actually there's a, there's, a, a, there, there's a scroll here that you can use to go up and down, which is very useful. But let me show you what that looks like on the lock screen. So you can see, look how many notifications I have. All right, so now let's say that, see all this, these Instagram uh, messages or notifications. Let's say that I want to see every notification except uh, or just the no Instagram notifications. So I go to into apps to show. I can disable all the apps and Instagram and I can just toggle just this one. All right, go back and apply. And there you go. All the Instagram um, messages are showing. As you can see here, then go back so now let's say that I want to delete one of them. You just swipe and delete and go back, deleted. 
I can also delete it from here. If you swipe, you can delete. Let's delete this one. And now there's two instead of three. Uh, okay, or two more. And, or let's say that, you know, you have so many, like you have like, you know, maybe 50 of them. You don't want to go side swipe and um, remove all of them one by one. What you could do is you can click and hold and there's an option here to delete all. So you click delete all, you say, okay, all of them have been deleted. You go here, all of them have been deleted. So let me go back and show all the notifications again and apply filter. And there you go. Um, there you go. So now let's say that I only want to see the notifications from yesterday or today. Say you go to the date filter and click last date, apply, and there you go, just the notifications from today. Um, and the same thing, if I want to remove all the notifications in this screen, you can just delete all, all of them will be removed. All right, so one more thing that you can do is you can apply more than one filter at the same time. So you can apply a date filter and an app filter. You can sort them by app name, uh, up or down, heading, up or down, which is the message, or date that um, the message or the notification was uh, set to, up or down, same thing. Or you can um, select an in-between date. Like, so let's say that I only wanna see um, the messages from July 30th to uh, July 31st, like that, and apply. And there you go, July 31st. And I probably didn't have any on July 30th. Um, but yeah, that is that. Um, so you can apply more than one filter at the same time. And let me think, let me think, what else is good to show? Okay, so one more thing. If you're in the screen and you click on any of these, what will happen is that app will be open. So if I click on this and then click on this, that app will be open. And the same thing goes for any of these other apps. So you can actually open apps uh, by just a tap. If the app doesn't exist on your phone, obviously it won't open. But um, I don't know, like Yahoo here, for example, Yahoo will open, you know, and all of these um, apps can be open from within the lock screen. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, but yeah, I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, let me know what you guys think about this um, in the Discord or uh, on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next video.